bottle of wine for your sweetie this Valentine's Day. Why not try making your own? Makes it special, right? Yeah. Andrew Burns from Midwest Supplies is here to show us how. People know about home brewing. Right. I think people yeah. don't really know that they can make wine at home. Mm -hmm. Well, it's true, and it's it's you know it's really easy, um, and it's quite popular, and it's a really popular cup. Uh, Hobby for couples to do together. Okay, um, I kind of like that idea. Yeah. You don't need yes. your own grapes. You don't need your own vines. So no. romantic. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it and it's really easy. And we've got a lot of kits at Midwest Supplies that help you do it. Okay. Uh, okay. We got some, these, some big ones. Right these are some of them. Look yeah. at all that stuff. This larger one here we call weekday wine because you know you don't always want a fancy bottle of wine. Correct. Sometimes you just want a wine to go with your food. Yeah, with the day. Tuesday night right. wine. Right. The That's Tuesday this. night wine. This wine will make about 30 bottles of wine here. Oh okay. wow. And this is what the juice comes in here. And this box has all the equipment you need. And the if bottles, that bottles, everything you'd need, is it? Uh, everything except the bottles. Except the bottles. But most winemakers recycle bottles from wine they've they've, right. they've already okay. finished. So these are the kits. Let's get Show these us two how to it work. Works all right. Here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a, with something called bentonite. We're gonna pour that okay. into a little bentonite. bit of hot water. What is bentonite? Bentonite is a type of clay, and what it does is helps oh. clarify the wine. It clumps together and mm -hmm. sinks to the bottom. Interesting. All right, that can go right into our fermenter. Do and I what I've done is I've already sanitized this out. Now, there's really only one skill with winemaking, and it's keeping everything clean. If you can do that, you can make oh, fantastic wow. wine. That's really like an operating room. All right, All right, now we need to add the juice, oh and this is the messy part. Okay. Right. And this I don't know why I've been trusted. Grapes. This right. is just Sorry. grape juice. Just grape juice. Okay. So we're well, making a, a red job. wine. It's a, this is a Pinot Noir. Okay. This is what makes it so easy. You don't have to stomp on the grapes. You right. don't have to grow anything yourself. It's already been stomped. It's already ready it to go. It looks kind of thick a little bit, too. It is a little thick, and that's because it's been concentrated, so we need to add some water to it. I've already marked off the gallon mark. Okay. So if we want to take that back to the sink. Okay. Let's right. take it back so, here. All right. Let's and we just with the water. This little is, bit. I, are people surprised this at how easy it is to make wine? You know, I think people have this idea that winemaking just t must take ages and yes. you've got to have all the specialized equipment when it really isn't. It's really easy. Um, I think everyone who comes in the store leaves just really enthusiastic and surprised about how easy it's going to be. So after we do this process, you add the water. Yep. Uh, yes. how, long does it, how long does it take before it's ready to bottle? You know, it's going to take about a month or so before it's ready to bottle, and there's a lot of sort of little ingredients you need to add. Now, thankfully, they're all oh. pre-measured so for it's us. Pre -measured. That's so nice. there's just instructions that tell you on what day to add what. And you do that along the path, like then you right, add exactly. this, you add that. So it's a little bit of work here, a little mm -hmm. bit of work there. It's it's not a huge What's time What's a commitment. kit cost? What's it cost for something? You know, like it can be as little as about uh, 80 bucks to get started with this small batch and kit. And that gets you right. a, And a, how many bottles? That, um, that's got all the equipment you need and enough wine to make about five bottles. Cool. Okay. And then okay. you can make wine over and over again. Very cool. We have the information for you at WCCO.com slash links to find out more information. You can order a winemaking kit right online. They have the home brewing, cider, cheese kits. You said coffee roasting, the whole deal. Awesome. And you guys are in St. Louis Park, right? St. Louis Park, Park, that's right. Andrew, very cool. This was fun. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And Valentine's gift. I know. That's right. Mm -hmm.